Rebecca Pereira is here. Good morning. Good morning. You are, you're from uh, the Purple Urchin Soap Company. Mm -hmm. Purple Urchin. I like the name. It's kind of playful and fun. Thanks. No urchins were hurt in the making of this soap. No. <laughs> <laughs> you do have people actually ask you that, right? Yeah, we've had a few. Okay. Um, we kind of laugh at it. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't. I don't doubt it. So tell me, uh, what got you into soap? Was it was it a lack of something in the, in the market that you were like, oh, I just want something a little bit more. We wanted to be able to find something that was natural mm -hmm. um, with less chemicals. Usually when you go to the drugstore, everything com contains like all those unpronounceable ingredients. Yeah, exactly. You're not really sure what you're putting on yourself. So, yeah. and, and this was also a way to be creative. Yeah, it is. It's, and you've done really a g great job in the packaging. Kept it really simple and, and it, it has that organic feel to it, doesn't it? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Okay, let's talk about what people are looking for right now. It's winter. I mean, the dry skin this year. Uh, especially when we get, we're about to go back to really cold temperatures, we're going to start seeing the cracks and the dry skin, the flaking. What have you got for uh, folks? What should they be avoiding first, I guess I should ask? Um, basically, what you should avoid if you want to keep your skin moisturized would be um, synthetic detergents. Okay. So any liquid soaps that you would find that would have SLS in it or SLES, um, things like that just strip moisture from the skin. Okay. Uh, we make our own liquid soap that we make from scratch using just vegetable oils, uh, the old-fashioned way. So it doesn't strip the moisture from your skin, and it has naturally occurring glycerin, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, you'll also want to stay away from detergent bars. Right. So any of those drugstore brand yeah. soap bars. Yeah. Um, They're really harsh on you. You can feel it tighten and dry you out after you use it. Mm -hmm. And, of course, that's exactly what you're trying to avoid. So let's talk about what's been popular at the store at Purple Urchin, which is where, by the way? It's in Ottawa's Chinatown at 882 Somerset Street Perfect. West. So I come in, the place smells amazing, of course, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, and let's start with liquid soaps, I guess. Um, and we'll start with one. This is as simple as it gets, right? I love the name of it, Plain Old Soap. It's good stuff. Yep, that's our unscented liquid soap. Um, it's 100% natural. We have, we try to keep everything, um, or have an unscented version of everything that we make. That's really smart because a lot of people have those uh, aversions or sensitivities to that. Yeah. Um, but then you do offer up some excellent uh, options as well. Lavender Limeade. Mm -hmm. Makes That's you a very drink popular it. one. I bet. It smells great. It works well as well. Mm -hmm. Again, for moisturizing, all of these are good. Mm -hmm. Sugared Almond. Nice. This one you said is really popular with guys. I like the sound of it. Lumberjack. Yeah, Lumberjack. It's um, cedarwood, balsam fir. Uh, bergamot. Very nice. And then uh, last but not least, apple cider. Mm -hmm. That's a good smell. I like that. Yeah, it's one of our winter scents. That's nice. Okay, other than that, you also have body butters, right? And mm -hmm. this can be, is that exactly what it suggests? Is there, you put it on your body, places that might get extra dry, especially like elbows or? Yep, they're um, made of whip shea. Um, they're very moisturizing and they're better than synthetic lotions. Okay. Um, you'll find they're a bit thicker than a regular lotion because they're not water-based. Yeah. But uh, can I open this? Or is yeah, it you can open it. <laughs> they're completely so natural. If, 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 I don't want to put my hand up, but it, it, if it's as light as a moose almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice and, and very light. I imagine that's uh, handy. Uh, we also have. Uh, hand balm, this is huge. Uh, like all I see are the women in the office doing this all the time at this time of year. Um, mm -hmm. And that's again for dry skin. Yeah, winter hand balm is especially good for eczema. It reduces itch okay. and wow. inflammation. So and you know what? It's when you're scratching that you're actually causing it to spread and to get worse, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And then you've got some lip balms as well, yeah. right? Yeah, all natural, made with um, natural organic flavors. We also have an unflavored one. Mm -hmm. What's extreme cream? Extreme cream is our face cream, and it's kind of like the body butters, except the texture is a bit um, silkier. Okay. And it's really light, and I actually brought my own extreme cream to show here. I just need a little bit, and if you Oh, it disappears it in, immediately. Yeah. Excellent. And then finally, last but not least, this has got to be where people really gravitate toward, especially you get these great natural soaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our soaps are $5 each, or you can do 5 for 20 and you can mix and match that deal with the lip butters. What I like is that you can actually put this out for your guests, and it's actually quite a pretty bar of soap. Yeah. Howling Forest. <laughs> we have fun with some of them. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Throw a leaf right in there. And no animal testing. This is so important. No animal testing, and all of our products are vegetarian or vegan. Okay. So we don't use animal fats in them. There you have it. Purple Urchin. Again, the address? 882 Somerset Street West. Drop by and see Rebecca. She'll help you out.